What's up YouTube, Jeff back again and today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today I'm going to show you guys everywhere in your Samsung Galaxy phone where you can find Samsung's hidden labs menus. These are menus where you can try experimental features that Samsung is trying out in One UI uh, 5.1 before anyone else and also test them for future stable releases. You've probably seen the ones that are in the main settings, which I will talk about, but there's also some other places you can find these labs menus that are a little more esoteric and a lot of you may not have seen them. So we'll talk about those as well. Before we get into that, I do want to remind you guys, if you're looking to save some money on your wireless, you can get premium wireless with my partners over at Mint Mobile starting at just 15 bucks a month. The best part about Mint Mobile is they have a plan for every budget and also data usage needs. They have a four gigabyte a month plan for 15 bucks a month. They've got a 10 gigabyte a month plan for $20 a month. They've got a 15 gigabyte a month plan for 25 a month and an unlimited plan for $30 a month, which I personally find to be the best value. All their plans come with limited talk and text, nationwide coverage, and also mobile hotspot included as well. Very simple to switch to Mint. You can either go on their website and get either an eSIM or a physical SIM. They'll also send you out a SIM kit. If you opt for the physical SIM, you can pop out your old SIM, pop in the Mint SIM, and let the savings begin. I've had great service using them with my Samsung phones now for a little over six months. I know a lot of you guys have been taking advantage of this since I've been talking about Mint, but if you haven't yet, now is the time to do it. Go to my link, mintmobile.com slash springer. It's also in the pinned comment description. And right now I have a great deal. If you do sign up for any three month Mint Mobile plan, I am gonna be giving away a free smartphone case of your choice, any case from any manufacturer. So, you know, you could get an Urban Armor Gear case, you know, any of their cases. Go to mintmobile.com slash springer, sign up for a three month plan, email me or get in touch with me on Twitter to show me that you've signed up and I'll send that out. Just have to sign up with my link. Uh, also, you can use the QR code, which I'm going to put over here if you want to scan it. It's a little bit simpler. I appreciate men for partnering with the channel. So let's go ahead and talk about the different labs menus and where you can find them on your Samsung device. Um, up first, if we go into the settings, of course, the very obvious one is the regular labs menu. And uh, it's at the top of the advanced features menu. Go into labs. And right now, there are four things you can try. I have all of them turned on because... I obviously have a YouTube channel where I talk about Samsung phones, so I like testing out new features. Multi-window for all apps, which is absolutely awesome. This allows you to open up pop-up window or split screen, even ones that aren't designed for that. You can basically force multi-window for those apps that aren't designed to run in split screen or pop-up. Full, full screen in split screen view, so that you can actually go full screen when you're using split screen. That's an awesome feature for multitasking. Swipe for pop-up and swipe for split screen. This is one I use all the time. If you're in an app like Twitter, you just swipe down. You do have to be careful that you do it appropriately. Of course, I'm gonna mess it up. There we go. Swipe down uh, from the top corner to get your pop-up view. I use this all the time when I'm using different applications. Um, it's absolutely fantastic and very convenient. It is hard to do from behind the camera though. So of course, it's a little bit easier when you're doing it yourself. Uh, you shouldn't run into any issues like that. Um, so you guys can see here, all of those are enabled right now and they're pretty easy to access. Now, if you go into the settings menu and you actually search for labs, you'll find another one, the next one I wanna show you, which is the internet labs. So if you go into internet labs, um, I'm actually not running these two right now, but I will turn them on so I can tell you what they do. Um, you do need to restart the application in order to turn on the first one. Um, the internet labs allows you to try out labs features in Samsung's browser. So this will not work if you're running Google Chrome, which a lot of people do run. I actually switch back and forth, again, because I like testing new features. So whenever there's new features on Chrome, I'll try those out. I'll switch back and try Samsung internet. I just like switching it up. Keeps it fun to use my phone, in my opinion. These two features, though, allow you to use system font for web pages, which basically allows you if you have a custom font. And I made a nice video showing you how to get thousands of custom fonts for free. I'll link that below if you guys want to check it out. Um, you can then use those fonts in your web page on the Samsung Internet browser. Uh, you can also use website dark theme. So if a website doesn't have a dark theme, um, then the site won't be darkened. So this is a thing where you can actually go through and determine if you want to use the dark theme from the device um, or if you want to use it only if the website has a dark theme. The reason you might want to do this is because sometimes if you force the dark theme, it'll make the text so that the text isn't actually readable. So again, this only applies if you're using the Samsung Internet Browser, which is the one right there. This is Samsung Internet Browser. Um, I usually run the beta version of it and the stable one. Again, you do have to reboot the browser if you turn on those lab features. The next one, if we go into the settings here, is one that you can find down in the general management menu where language and keyboard is found. 
And if you go here and go to Samsung keyboard settings, this is a really important one. Scroll to where it says more typing options and it's right here, enhanced accuracy. Now on most of these Galaxy S23 Ultras I've seen, at least the unlocked models, this is actually enabled out of the box. So this is actually the default option out of the box, which of course is a very nice thing to have. But uh, if it's not enabled, you definitely want to turn on the enhanced accuracy. What this does is it basically gives you better accuracy um, while you're typing, better word fill if you have autocorrect on, especially if you're a really fast typer. You can see right next to it, it has the labs designation, which means it is an experimental feature for the Samsung keyboard. However, we know at the end of the day um, that this feature has been tested now for a little over close to a year um, since the first time I saw it. So this one is getting a little more mature. The last one, which is one that I've mentioned before, but I know a lot of people still don't know about it. So I'm gonna talk about it in this video as well. And that is the gallery labs feature. So if you go into the gallery and you go into the settings menu in the gallery, you'll see I already have it turned on here. I'm actually gonna get up my other Galaxy S23 Ultra so I can show you guys how it looks if you don't have it enabled yet. But you can turn on a gallery labs, which will allow you to do all kinds of crazy stuff and it's one of my favorite labs features. Now, the way you do it is you go into the about gallery and you're gonna tap on the uh, gallery version number here at the top repeatedly to turn it on. Make sure you don't do that. But let me go into my other S23 Ultra because I don't have it enabled yet. I'll go ahead and refocus. Um, and what this will allow you to do is if you tap right here repeatedly on the Galaxy version, gallery labs is enabled, boom right down here at the bottom. You've got all kinds of awesome features. I'll show you really quickly on my main Galaxy S23 Ultra, some of my favorite ones to enable, uh, which is support save as PDF. That's a great one. Support print multiple pictures, which is pretty awesome. Um, you can do film strip in viewer. Um, another one that's a really good one is video preview on the picture list. And scrolling down here as well, Play next video automatically. I don't know why I don't have that one enabled. And you can also go through and change uh, to show or not show your EXIF details inside the image viewer, which a lot of people like to do, especially for photography expert. There's a lot of other things that are UI things, but the PDF option is game changer and one I really like to do. Also show trash storage info. So you can see how much uh, size you have in your trash storage. That's a great feature to have as well. So those are all the places you can find labs inside your Galaxy S23 Ultra, your other Samsung phones. If I missed one, let me know, guys. I mean, these are the ones I know about, but let me know if I missed a place where you can find an awesome labs feature. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Again, if you're interested in saving some money on premium wireless, go to mintmobile.com springer. Sign up for any three-month plan right now, and I will send you out. I'm doing it myself. Mint is not doing that. Uh, sign up for any three-month Mint Mobile plan. I'll send you out a free smartphone case of your choice as a token of my appreciation. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. Also, the icon pack, the wallpaper, the widget, they'll all be linked below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.